Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook page for your business. Um, Facebook has recently made changes to the Facebook uh, page interface, and now each person who creates a page from now on in will be creating it using their new format called Timeline, uh, which will come into effect as of March 30th, 2012. So what you want to do is you want to start by signing into your Facebook account. If you don't have a Facebook account, what you do is you come to the main page of Facebook here, facebook.com, and you scroll down. And when you come down here to the bottom, you'll see a button that says create a page for a celebrity band or business. You click on that page and it will take you through exactly the same process that I'm about to show you. But because I do already have a Facebook account, I'm going to log in on my account. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up here in my browser's URL bar, facebook.com slash pages. And that will take me to this page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on this button that says create a page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to create a page. I have six options here. The option I'm going to choose is this one right here because I'm creating a page right now for a client of mine who is a magician. So I'm going to click on that one and then I'm going to choose a category. And magician is not an option unfortunately but we will choose entertainer and we'll put his name in there I'm gonna agree to Facebook's pages and terms and click on get started so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna upload a profile picture I happen to have one on my computer I'm just gonna click here on upload from computer And I'm going to go into my desktop, which is where it is, and here's Vitelli's profile picture. I'm going to click on Open, and there it is. So here's his profile picture. Now we can adjust this as we go along to make it a bit more centered. Next up, I'm going to click on About, which is the next. So you can do About, or the other thing that you can do is you can just click on this Next button, and it'll take you to the next step. So the next step that it says is to provide some basic information about Vitaly, okay? And then we're also going to put in here in his website as well. And his website is www.sensationofmagic.com, okay? Um, the kind of info that you would put in here would be any kind of sort of your basic information that you have, um, some really top-level information that you have, for example, on your website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some information that I have um, from a press release that I've written about him, and I'm going to just copy paste it right here into this box and now we're ready for the next stage what we're able to do now is we're able to choose what what's called a vanity URL and what this will allow us to do is it'll allow for people to be able to find his page um, uh, faster than if he had if he didn't have this so Facebook creates sort of a long and ugly string URL for your Facebook page what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to really brand our page to how we want it to be so I'm going to see if sensation of magic is available because that's um, Vitaly's the name of his company and it is yay Okay, so this is our brand new Facebook page. Now, it's asking me to like the page. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't think it's really good practice to ask people to like the page until you have the page completely set up. So I'm going to skip that for now. Um, it's also asking me to invite my friends. Again, I'm going to skip that for now. I don't like inviting people to a page that's not yet set up. So what I want to do... <laughs> Facebook is very enthusiastic about having us invite people to like the page. Okay, so now what we can start to do is we can actually start to build up the page. Um, again, I'm going to skip this part, but what I want to do is I want to upload what's called a cover uh, a cover image. Now, what you'll see is up here we've got Vitaly's profile picture. Now, I want to edit that a little bit. So, I'm going to click right here and then I'm going to click on this thing that says edit thumbnail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust it a little bit so that his face is a bit more central in the picture and I'm going to click on that and save it.
and now he's going to appear a little bit more central in the picture. The next thing we want to do is we want to add what's called a cover image, and a cover image is the large image that's going to cover all of this part on the top of the page. I happen to have one already designed um, that Vitaly actually designed for me, so I'm going to upload it, and it's right here, um, and I'll give you the dimensions for that in the body of this blog post. So there's his cover image, and again, you can, you can drag that around if you want to change it, but we've created it exactly in the same, it, we've created it exactly how it should be, so it's good to go. So I'm going to click on Save Changes, and here is his new cover image, ready to go. Okay, so now that we've built our basic page, I just want to show you a few things inside here that can help you out. Um, first of all, I want to show you, uh, what you'll notice is, once you, this is the pit, what the page looks like, but what you'll notice is if you scroll up to the top, you'll have what's called the admin panel. And what this will eventually allow you to do is it'll show you um, what, is, what sort of stuff is going on in your page. So it'll tell you um, if people have liked something on your page, if people have commented on something on your page. Also a new thing about the Facebook timeline is that you can actually message people who appear on your page. So people who are on your page, you can actually send them an inbox direct message, which is a brand new thing that you weren't able to do in previous versions of Facebook pages. Um, this will show you what new likes you have, um, and this will show you your insights. And insights are just stats about how many people are using your page, how many people are liking it, how many people are commenting, that kind of stuff. And then there are some tips and resources here as well. Um, so that's your admin panel, and um, so this is what the page will look like to anyone who comes to it. Uh, it'll look basically like this. Also, by the way, you can access your admin panel up in here as well. And um, if you want to edit your information, like your about information in here, you just come down here and click on this, and it'll take you into the back end. You click on edit, and it, this will allow you to edit anything in here. You can add all these things. So if he had a physical address, we could put that in there. Um, we could put in his birthday, awards, um, any of this kind of information, phone number, email. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I want to add an event to this page. Vitaly has a couple of shows coming up, and I want to add them to his page. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. We have to add them as an app. We have to add events as an application to this page. So we have um, several abilities to add in applications right here, although not landing pages anymore. With this new Facebook timeline format, landing pages are now gone, a thing of the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down this arrow right here, and you'll notice a bunch of these boxes pop up with little, with little pluses. So I'm going to click on the little plus, and I'm going to click right here and say events. So what I want to do now is I'm going to add events to his page. There's no upcoming events, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create event. I'm going to put in here the event name, which is Sensation of Magic um, Vancouver, because he's doing three shows in three different locations. I'm going to click on the little um, address on the little calendar and I'm going to put on April the 10th to and then at 8 o'clock p.m. and I'm going to add the end time which is April the 21st at um, say uh, 9 o'clock p.m. The show is about an hour long. Havana Theatre and the address is 1515 Commercial Drive, Vancouver, BC. And then in here, I'll copy paste my press release in there. Um, then the next thing it allows us to do, I'm also going to put an event photo in there, by the way. I will add that. I haven't done it yet, but I will do it before I create and release this event out into the world. Um, and then the next thing you can do is you can select guests. You can only select people who you're friends with um, to invite them to this show. And then what you do is you click on create event. And now this will be listed in the events section on Vitaly's page. So if we go back to Vitaly's page, what you'll see is 
um, events and then when you click on this you'll be able to see uh, his events in there. So that's a quick little tour of the new Facebook timeline format. Um, you'll need this for your business page um, and uh, I hope that you have lots of um, people like your page and uh, continued success.